Okay, gang, we've been through a lot. We've drawn the same mechanism a bunch of times. But last video, thanks for hanging in with me. Let's get this done. We'll call it a series. So we're going to do two different kind of reactions here. One, a mechanism, this aka the same mechanism we've been doing. And then just a quick memorization reaction, and we're going to call it quits. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys first how we can go from an amide. Uh, you know, let me draw something like this. Let's draw something like this. If we pump back water in with acid, how we can get back a carboxylic acid that the amide must have come from. Here's the reaction. Let's draw the mechanism. It'll make more sense. I'm sure you guys could probably do this already. Okay, so amides, like we said in the first video in the series, the least reactive carbonyl there is out there. So we definitely, if you definitely, if you're thinking it, we definitely need to protonate this oxygen to activate this carbonyl to get the ball rolling, right? Let me draw a line in red, and we'll get going. Okay, so let me protonate the carbonyl real quick. H plus, protonate the carbonyl oxygen. We'll get the carbonyl carbon as activated as we possibly can. Okay, then, now that we've protonated, let's enter in our nucleophile. In this case, good old H2O. We'll attack the carbonyl carbon, kick electrons up onto the oxygen. Right? Since we did the addition part of this addition elimination mechanism, right? I'm going to draw the OH going this way. I'm going to draw my water going up to the right. O like this. And just the nitrogen piece down there. Actually, keep, keep it like this. Whoops. Right. He has a little pair on him. Okay. So remember, protonate the things you want to leave. Deprotonate what you want to stay. We want this piece gone. We want this piece here. Kind of remember back to the mechanism we did in the carboxylic acid series. I'm going to do an intramolecular acid-base reaction here. I'm just going to have this nitrogen grab that hydrogen and have the electrons go back onto that oxygen just to make it easy. Okay? Plus H plus, minus H plus, just within the molecule. I didn't touch the OH. Going up to the left, I have an OH right there. I now have a nitrogen with two hydrogens and that FO piece right here, two carbons. Okay, right. We have the tetrahedral intermediate ready. Let's collapse it. I'll swing electrons down, I'll reform the double bond, I'll kick off the nitrogen piece, which is now a good leaving group because he's protonated, and only because he's protonated. So let's draw the result of that electron flow. Protonated oxygen up top, and an OH right there. We have our nitrogen amine, amine, right? And someone's going to take off this H. Don't worry about it too much. Some water, something's going to grab it. You get back your carboxylic acid, and your amine is also there. This is just like ester hydrolysis. It's just amide hydrolysis. I know you guys probably could draw that. I just want to draw it for you guys because I like showing you everything. Okay. So let me erase this. We just have a memorization reaction, and we are done. The last thing I want to share with you guys, and I'm just going to throw up a generic amide, is because amides are so, you know, unreactive, right? You don't attack them with anything. You don't attack them with a Grignard. You don't attack them with a soft nucleophile. The one thing you will see, though, is that you can reduce amides to amines. And here's the reaction. You can only reduce an amide with lithium aluminum hydride. So if you do, you know, LAH, 
Remember, that's the LiAlH4. For the second step of acid, here's what you get. You don't need to know the mechanism for this. All you do is you wipe away your carbonyl. It's as simple as you just cover him up or just wipe him away, and that's what you get. You go from having an amine to an amine. Memorize it, know it, love it or hate it, this is what you gotta know. It doesn't work with any other reducing agent, not NABH4, and in the worksheet you may see some other crazy big thing with lithium and, and hydrogen. Uh, it only works with LAH, just know this. It just wipes away the carbon, you know, just basically erase it. You'd probably see this in a complete the reaction question on a test. Whoa. Okay, guys. Sorry for all the mechanisms. I hope you saw the pattern with the addition elimination stuff. So, speaking of means, now that we've done all these different carbonyl functional groups, it's time to delve into, you know, what else we can do with nitrogen. And that's where our next stop is. Get ready to tackle some amines.